looks very nice. What? So it's fluffy. Wow, it's nice, huh? Nice and See, the, look at the bread, it's nice and fluffy, it's not hard, nice fluffy bread. There we are, look, another success. Hello guys, good afternoon. For today's video, I kakaiba po mga guys. Kasi, ang aking hobby ay gagawa ng bread. Yung bread na walang lasa. Yung kinakain nila na mga bread na walang lasa. So, yan mga guys. Papakita ko sa inyo. Siya naman. Turn naman niya ngayon ang pag-baking dito sa kusina. Ayan. Nakaredy na yung kanyang mga gagawin. Ayan. Sugar. Salt. Sugar. Salt. Where's the yeast then? Maybe. Um, where's yes, the yeast? That's the yeast. This yeast then, yeah? Yeah. And then you need this, so... Listen, I'm... I'm Alright, put it. Don't you worry. I'm not worried. I'm just going to watch you. Right, this is me yeast, is it? Mm -hmm. Right, what we need first then is a mixing bowl, which we happen to have here. Mm -hmm. One mixing bowl. Yeah. Clean mixing bowl. Some measuring implements. One for a cup. One for a teaspoon. So what we need first, a two... two table... sorry. Two teaspoons of yeast. Is it up to the top of this blue thing for the right up to the top like that? Yeah, like that. So two of them of yeast. That's the yeast over with. So we'll just put that back. If that's finished. I don't want to knock it over and make a mess. You need vegetable oil? No, no, no. no. Oh, I want no. two teaspoons of brown sugar. This one. Mm. Careful. Oh, any sugar will do. I happen to have brown sugar, but I believe bring any there, sugar bring. will do. Bring there, bring there. Yeah. So two, t two teaspoonfuls of brown sugar, like so. Put the top back on. Uh, one and a third cup of lukewarm water. Now, because you're using yeast, if you put boiling water or really hot water, you'll kill the yeast. So it wants to be just lukewarm. So if you can put your finger in it, I know, you, if you can put your finger in it, it's just lukewarm, really, just a little bit warm. So if you put hot water or boiling water in, you'll kill the yeast. So it wants to be lukewarm which is like body temperature for what of a better temperature so my wife is just going to get me some lukewarm water how's that mum is that lukewarm right lukewarm water there's a cup right up to the top of this one cup. Full. Full. If but how much you measure? Third. One and a third I want. That one. Ah, one and a third. Yeah, one and a third. Not a third, one and a third. That's one. And another third. Two, uh, two a little bit. Thank you. So I was good to have a willing assist a willing assistant. Thank you. Right, that's one and a third cups of lukewarm water. So we'll put that over there. So we'll just give this a little bit of a stir. Just make sure we've got the yeast. All mixed up with the water, which will start to activate the yeast and start bubbling. Put so what we need now is one sea salt, one teaspoon of sea salt. 
sea salt. This one, which is empty, Mum. Huh? It's empty. How was it? That's why I am giving you this one. Okay, give me that then. Yeah, we're going to just might scrape a teaspoonful of this out of here. Yeah, you know. One teaspoon of sea salt. What we need now. It's okay, we've got enough, but it's only a teaspoonful. Okay. What we need now is one egg. One fresh egg, fresh this morning. Well, as you can see, that is the egg mixed with the uh, water, the yeast, the sea salt and the brown sugar. So what we need next is three to three and a half cups of either bread flour or uh, I'm going to use for today's uh, all-purpose flour. Just a normal all-purpose flour we're going to use. So what I'm going to do is put three cupfuls in first and then we'll put the dough together and we'll just mix the other half a cup as and when required to make sure we get the right consistency because I don't want to get too much flour in it and make it too dry. So here we go, three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Up to the top again, Mum, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Three. three cups of flour. Now we've not with another half cup which we can put in as a bit later as and when required. So I'll just get myself half a cup ready, which is a prop it's only approximate, it's not an exact scientist bread making. As long as it looks right at the end of the day, we're near enough there, right? So there we have half a cup of all-purpose flour in reserve, right? What we're gonna do now is uh, Mix this up and get it into the right consistency before we can knead it. So what we're going to do is to fold this together into a paste, into a, a dough. Here we are, you can see we're mixing it together. We'll need to put some more flour with it yet, but it's still a bit wet. But let's just, we'll just see, add the flour as we go along so we just don't get it too dry. Okay, because you add the flour later when you need Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of this white flour. This table was cleaned earlier. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this white flour on the table so we don't get stuck. There we go. You can see it's sticking to my finger, so it will need some more uh, flour with it in a minute. Put, put some on the table. 
we can mix it all in, it'll all meet together. Up in the six, three and six minutes in the back rows. Still a bit wet. So we're kneading it. It actually puts gluten into the bread, which isn't a bad thing. It's good for you. So. We're gradually, gradually adding this dry flour to make the, uh, the dough just the right consistency for the bread making. So all I'm doing is turning it and pushing it flat with a palm in the hand. So you want to be doing this for 10, 12 minutes. It's not an exact science. But the more you knead it, the better the bread will be. As you can see now, look, it's, it's just getting the right consistency for bread. It's no wetness in it, it's just about right for the right consistency. You could do with this uh, dry with some lightly oiled on the inside yeah so that's the dough ready so that's my ball of dough that's been kneaded and we're ready for putting it in a lightly oiled dish. We've got a dish here. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil in it. We're going to lightly coat the dish with oil, olive oil, just so it doesn't stick as it, as it's cut, so I can get it back out again easily. That's all it is. A little bit more oil in there. So here we are, we're going to put the oil in here, the, sorry, the dough in this oiled dish. So that's the dish oiled. And now what we're going to do now is just place the dough in the middle of the, in the middle of the... Rub the oil in the top. No, no. Okay. No. You, if, you, if you're going to, we're going to cover this with a tea towel and leave it. So if you put a tea towel over it, and you think the dough's going to catch, touch the top of the bread, you can just put a little bit of oil on the top of the dough so it doesn't stick to the tea towel. Now, one of the best places, now this is what my mother used to do, so I'm, if we can put the oven on, a 350, please. So two minutes at 350, what we're gonna do the oven's on at 350 now. Leave it on for two minutes, then turn the oven off. Turn the oven off and put the bread in the oven, turned off with a tea towel over it for approximately one hour. So just time two minutes there for me. Here we have a clean tea cloth. We're gonna cover the bread and we're gonna leave it in the turned off oven for approximately one hour. And then when we take the tea cloth off, the dough should have doubled in size, so it should be somewhere near the top of the bowl. So let's just wait and we'll see. Let's see how we get on.
So the oven at the moment is on 350. And we're going to leave the oven on for approximately just two minutes. One thing about making bread, you have lots of time waiting for things. So you've always got a chance to have a cup of tea while you're waiting. Okay. Right. Oh. So we're going to turn the oven off. The last one. Okay. So that's the oven turned off. So that's been on for two minutes at, three, at, three, at 350 degrees. So now what we're going to do... We're going to place this in the turned off oven for approximately one hour. Right ladies and gentlemen, see you in an hour's time. Hopefully everything works out good. But here we are back at our bread making session. We've had the dough in the oven now where it's been switched up. We've had it in the oven now for one hour. So let's have a look and see if the uh, dough has risen like it should do. Well here we are, we'll take the dough out of the oven. Oh, double the size. And as you can see, the dough now is double the size. Yes, there we go. So now we're going to take the dough out of here. We're going to punch it. Let's wash my hands first to make sure we're, uh, we're good to go. I've been sat doing some writing while I was waiting for the oven to dough uh, to, to get better. So what we're going to do now, we're going to punch the bread. So we're going to take this out of here. Punch it. So we're going to punch the bread, and all we've got to do now is knead this bread. Can you put this on, on there for me, please? Here we have our already prepared bread tin. So we're going to make it roughly the same length as our tin. So there we are. That's in the tin ready. So what we're going to do now... There we go. We're going to cover this bread again. Have you got a one that'll fit? Cover that up for me. It's not a bit small. That you got a different one. We're going to cover this up, and we're going to put it back for another half an hour until we get our second rise in. So we'll put this back for half an hour. And we should have a second rising. So come back and see us in half an hour's time and we'll have a look and see if the bread's risen. So we'll leave it in there. We've punched it and it's all ready. So we'll leave it in there for half an hour and hopefully when we come back, the bread will have risen and then we can put it in ready for cooking. See you in half an hour's time. Well, there we are. That's the bread risen, ready for putting in the oven. So Are you going to make uh, the I wasn't going to do. Whatever. I was going to put it in as it was. Well, no. What What you going to design on top? I wasn't. Do you want to put some lines across it? Would you like to? I don't know. What was the? Nothing. But we can put some. Yeah, like that. Yeah. X maybe. Yeah. You draw snake, mommy? Yeah, you draw wood smoke as pig, mommy. With so many pigs. Okay. Mm -hmm. so many Andrew, how's the bread look? Look, daddy is making bread. Wow. Wow, now he's mommy, going to put it down. So we're going to put the bread in the oven. For how many minutes, honey? Well, it's approximately half an hour, but you, if you look at it, what, as you're cooking it, once it goes light brown on the top, okay. it's about ready. So yeah. half an hour at... About 150, 60, 70, 176, 180. Mm -hmm. So we'll put that in there and we'll see how it turns out. Okay. About half an hour. Mm -hmm.
Ready? And here we have today's bread loaf. Wow, it looks very nice. What we're gonna do, we'll let it cool down for 10 minutes in its tray. Then we'll take it out of this tray and stand it on the ba mesh basket so it further cools down. And then we're gonna cut it, put some butter on it and eat it with some nice new cheese. And here we are again, back at the bread making afternoon. Well, here we are, this is the finished loaf. So we're just about to cut it. My little boy's offering him some cheese slices. So we're gonna cut it and just see There we are. What, what, what is happening? And there we are, Mummy. So it's fluffy. Wow, it's nice, huh? Nice, nice and fluffy. See, it's the, look at the bread. It's nice and fluffy. It's not hard. Nice, fluffy bread. There we are. Look, another success. Kettle. Homemade bread. Warm. We're just going to have it with some cheese. So I hope you come and have a look at our video next time. We'll be making something else. That's all for now. Goodbye. Come and see what we're going to make next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Andrew. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I want to put some butter. Put some butter on, yeah? With, 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 the, with, with this. What cheese are you going to have? That one? Yeah. But who buy that cheese? The good thing about this is it's not, all, it's not just... The other, yeah? Yeah. Give me that. What's cheese you're having? Not that butter, honey. Oh my god. This one? Yeah, we're having this. Too much butter on it, huh? Ready. Ready. What? Yeah. On it? Yeah. Yeah, put it on there then. Oh, there you go. I'll try that and see how that tastes. Um, Is that really yummy? Good. Yeah. Don't forget the butter. That is going to have a piece. Do you want butter on yours, Mum? No. Me? My... I made my own sandwich bread. It's already mixed grated cheese and butter. I so I can, I can eat it's that. all together. I don't need to spread butter gonna, and then spread cheese. Are you gonna eat that, so Mommy? It's already together. Yeah. No, don't do that. What are you doing? Eating this look. Don't do that, Mum. Just this one. Uh, don't have any butter in mine. You've got it. Mm. Plenty butter already, that baby. Don't no, want the mix the cheese. The mix with cheese, Daddy. Mm. The that one. Very want that one. You already have white cheese. What's that? No. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Come on. Mm. Wow. Fresh bread. It looks so alright though, there's not no holes in it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. But for a first attempt, sweetheart, that's mm. good. It's good. Yeah? Mm. good. Yeah. What do you think, good. Andrew? Well, a little bit of a crust on it, isn't it? Mm. It's good. Especially if you have this uh, spread. Cheese and butter. But if you're having dinner with some people and you want some soup and that, if you have nice mm. bread, it's, it makes it a lot. It's good for uh, beef stew. It's quite a good toast of a jam on this. You know, you have a thick piece. Oh, yeah. 
How's that made? 